in this video we are going to see Malus law experiment I am professor Sasani now let us start this particular experiment theory now we will understand the concept of Malus law now see in this figure this is a source of light and this particular source of light is giving you unpolarized light or ordinary light and when this light falls on polarizer we will get plain polarized light again when this plain polarized light falls on second polarizer or it is now called as analyzer then again we will get the plain polarized light here but in this case the angle between the polarizer and analyzer is zero degree and therefore we will get maximum intensity here but what will happen if we rotate that analyzer through 90 degrees so if theta is equal to 90 degrees so you will find that the intensity of the light coming out of this analyzer will be minimum or zero okay these are the two situations but what will happen if the angle is between zero and 90 degree what will be the intensity of the light which is coming out of the analyzer so in that case we have to use Malus law so what is Malus law so see this particular equation so according to Malus law the equation given by Malus law is I is equal to I m cos square theta now what is this now I is the intensity of the light which is coming out of the analyzer I m is the intensity of the light which is falling on the analyzer and theta is the angle between polarizer and analyzer it means that we can state Malus law in this way the intensity of the light coming out of the analyzer is directly proportional to cosine square of cosine of angle between polarizer and analyzer aim of this experiment is to verify Malus law now we will see the apparatus to be used for this particular experiment now see this is Malus law setup in which you will see one photo cell I will tell you the purpose of that photo cell later on then we will see this is power supply used for Malus law this power supply will give you around 60 volt DC output you will connect positive and negative here and this is on off switch then we will use ammeter this is actually DMM or digital multimeter but we will set it as an ammeter then we will use this lamp now see inside this box there is a analyzer and a polarizer for your understanding purpose I will just remove this particular polarizer from here and now inside that there is analyzer and in my hand there is a polarizer with scale now you can see this is a polarizer you can see other side of it also we have to fix it later on there now there is also scale here so that you can see at what angle through what angle you have rotated that analyzer so you can rotate this particular pointer here like this and you can find the corresponding angle now here we are using a photo cell now what is the purpose of photo cell now this photo cell will give us the variation in intensity of the light means when we rotate the analyzer or polarizer or angle between them the intensity of the light will change and that variation in intensity can be recorded using this particular photo cell because we know that the current through the photo cell is directly proportional to the intensity of the light now see I will remove the photo cell and now I will show you how the intensity of the light varies when we change the angle between polarizer and analyzer now I have switched on this lamp now light is falling on the polarizer and there is analyzer now see I will put my hand here and now see you will see the variation in intensity now I will rotate this polarizer and now you see the light coming from analyzer now it is maximum intensity and intensity is again decreasing again you will see intensity variation so this was maximum intensity and now it is decreasing again I will change the angle now intensity is again increasing so in this way as there is a change in angle the 
change in intensity will be seen. Dear students, now we will make the connections here. Connections are very simple. Let us see. Now this is a power supply. We will start from power supply positive. So positive of power supply is to be connected to the positive of ammeter. Now here in this case, this ammeter is showing different points here. Out of that, you have to connect this positive at this particular point because this indicates positive and 2 ampere means to measure the current we have to connect this here. Then we will connect the second wire to the power supply here and that will we will connect to the negative of Malus law setup or photo cell. Now this is internally connected to this photo cell. Then the remaining connection is very simple. We will connect negative of ammeter. Now it is written here com or common that is negative is to be connected here to the other connection of photo cell. Now in this way the connections are completed. Now you will see it is very simple connection to here and from this negative it is going to the positive of photo cell and from this negative it is going to the negative of power supply. So in this way simple connections you have to make. Now I will close this box so that external light will not get incident on the photo cell and only light that will get incident on the photo cell is of the analyzer. Now it is completely closed it is like a dark room and now I will switch on the power supply here. Now see the ammeter here, we have already made the connections but now we have not set this multimeter to our ammeter readings. So for that you have to rotate this knob to 200 micro ampere and now I switch. I will switch it on. Now the current here is a 6.4 micro amperes. Now when you rotate this polarizer through certain angle you will see the variation in current. Now see when I rotate this polarizer you will see the variation in current. Okay. Now we will take readings. Before that we will set this light properly. Now you can see the observation table here. Now what is there inside this uh, observation table? So you will see angle through which analyzer is rotated that is theta in degrees. So this will be constant here like this 0, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70. So every time there will be 10 degrees difference. Corresponding current we have to write here. From this theta we will get cos theta and from cos theta we will get cos square theta and then there is inverse of cos square theta. So these are the different parameters that we have to find and calculate. Now first I will take the first reading. So for that for 0 degree how much is the current that is what I have to find out. Now let us see the angle here. So for 0 degree I will make this pointer to the 0 degree and the corresponding current here is 8.6 or it is varying little bit so you can take averaging of this so it is 8.5 micro amperes so current here is 8.5 micro amperes now i will rotate this pointer through 10 degrees so from 0 now i will make it to 10 degrees and i will record the corresponding current so it is 7.7 .7. so i will record this here 7.7 .7. So in this way you have to take remaining readings with the difference of 10 degrees of the de de degrees of difference and correspondingly you have to find out this cos theta and cos square thetas. After that once you get this cos square theta and current you have to plot a graph. What graph? You have to plot the graph of cos square theta values cos square theta values along x axis and on y axis there will be current. So current I will be on y axis. 
so if you plot these all these readings you will get a graph somewhat like this you will you should get a straight line like this so if you get straight line like this it means that cos square theta is proportional to current it means that and current current is proportional to what current is proportional to intensity of the light and hence we can say that i is directly proportional to cos square theta so here i is actually current but it can also be the intensity because both are directly proportional so hence if i is directly proportional to cos square theta this is what is our molus law hence we have proved that current is proportional to cos square theta hence molus law is proved you can plot graph on the proper graph paper which is provided to you so here x axis y axis and here cos square theta will come and here current will come and you will get a graph somewhat like this straight line just i have shown you if you are getting a straight line like this it means that molus law is proved dear students in this way we have seen the theory of molus law apparatus and we have seen how to make the connections and how to take the readings how to plot the graph and from that we can conclude that molus law is proved experimentally okay dear students in this way we have seen the theory of molus law the apparatus then connections and how to take the readings and how to plot the graph and finally from the graph we have uh, we can conclude that current is proportional to cos square theta that is molus law is proved i hope you have understood this particular experiment very well thank you